Good morning from Roatan. Yeah, we've never actually been to this particular port in Roatan. We can't oh, yeah. see it outside. <laughs> All we have is water. Yeah, but that's true, actually. I'm excited because mm -hmm. we're doing a little something similar to what we did before, but a little bit different. So Correct. we've got a tour set up with Victor Bodden today. Mm -hmm. It's called the Fun and Sun Tour. So the fun, apparently, is you get to go check out lots of monkeys. Yay. The mm is you get an island tour, and then the sun is you go to Bananarama, uh, Bananarama Resort or Beach Club. I Beach think Club, it's called, yeah. So. You thought about that. Tag on, <laughs> yeah. The fun and sun. That's all the components of it. Sounds fun. And it's pretty affordable too, honestly. Yeah, true. It's like thirty dollars. Mm -hmm. It's a group tour, you know, on a bus and all that stuff. Yeah. But hey, you know, we're gonna grab some. Oh. No, no. I was just gonna say we're gonna have fun and stuff. Yes. <laughs> but right now, breakfast. I yes. think we're gonna check out Solarian Bistro. Okay. It says in the app they're open, so mm -hmm. we're hoping they're That's open. Fine. Yeah, we'll right. go see. <laughs> Let's roll up there and see, and then get our day started. Yay. Roll it down. <laughs> So 15 forward is the solarium. Uh, I guess we have to go in here and then in here again. Ooh, very nice. Okay. Yeah, I got a topping station with sprinkles down there, all kinds of eggs and things. Okay, we got parfaits, muesli, yogurt. On the other side, I see fruit. Oh, check out all the pastries. Oh, over here we've got like stir fried vegetables, egg fried rice. Nice. And of course, beverages, including a freestyle machine. Oh, nice little array of breakfast offerings. Tip two, gangway. Welcome to Roatan. I'm able to get a little washy washy right here as you enter. So we're going to continue straight toward the independent tours area. Like all kinds of restaurants and stuff, music jamming. We're gonna hang a right at the restrooms and exit. And right again, following the signs to exit. Ooh, look at all these flowers. Booth number one, Victor Bodden. That was easy. <laughs> all right, there is our ride. Now we have arrived at Victor Bodden's Sloth and Monkey, I guess it's Monkey and Sloth Sanctuary. There we go. Cute gift shop. We're gonna get all checked in up here. And we are good to go. The tour continues. Yay! Coco's not part of the tour. Oh man. They like to grab your stuff. She's better to leaving her sunglasses, hats, yeah. and bags if you want yeah. to go inside her. Try to stand still and let the monkey be. Just come in and let them come to you. Well, not to be talking to the monkeys. Okay, okay. I'm gonna be with you inside the room. There we go. <laughs> monkeys are jumping. Just checking to see if I got anything in my pockets worthwhile, worth Michael. having. Michael and Michelle. So no glasses, they no hats in here because it's a little monkey. dangerous. Got both boys. Check in the pocket. Mm -hmm. Oh, you found a friend. I found a friend more. Oh, there you go. You're a little jungle gym, aren't you? Now I'm a little jungle gym. I guess. Oh, gosh. He's like the tallest I'm the tallest tree in here, so it works. Oh, gosh. I will stand strong like tree. <laughs> Just a you are feisty monkeys. Yeah, he's checking a pocket. You know I didn't put anything in there. <laughs> you stole my monkey. <laughs> oh, haha. -ha. <laughs> the other people. I like when they walk on your head. It's very soft. Yeah. Yeah. They're not heavy. <laughs> right now they're friendly because we're behaving the way they like, and I have food over here, but they can get uh, easily. Oh, I have a falcon monkey. Oh no! Now you have him. They know how to open bags, and they like to pick pocket people too, so they can be like little thieves. <laughs> and they don't spend all the time inside this cage because they escape at least once a week from here. Do they they really? know how to open doors and locks. Oh, it just takes them a while, but eventually they open it. You gotta give Michelle a bunch of seeds, even if oh. he's not playing with us, because otherwise he's gonna be trying to open the door all the time. Oh goodness! <laughs> oh no! They like to dip the seeds. Yeah. That's why I don't 
Well, I guess I live here now because I still have a monkey. I can come with the monkey. All right. Hey, monkey. Oh, monkey's like, no. Oh, our friendly kawati. You even know the noise the kawatis make. Oh, you have sunflower seeds in your hair, too. That's awesome. The animal's name is a kawati or a kawati mundi. Uh, this animal is related to raccoons, actually. It's in the mm -hmm. raccoon family. A lot of people think it's an ant eater when they see it, actually. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that he's ever been able to, like, you know, touch a kawati. <gasps> when he opened his mouth, do you see those teeth? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It could be really bad. <laughs> yeah. So if you oh, see his teeth, run the away. friendly, guys, so we're not going to go inside with every single one of them. <laughs> Very cute. All right. Don't get too close to these guys because they're more aggressive. Got it. Hey, friends. <laughs> I'm gonna give you one each and you can try to give it to these monkeys over here. They'll probably reach out and take it from you. you want to? Oh, thank the you. monkey has accepted your gift. I am one with the monkey. This is like a bachelor, bachelorette or something. Like, oh, so um, that monkey wants to be all the bachelors. Okay. <laughs> Will you accept this rose? Yes, all of them. <laughs> try that one. Uh, see, they're very gentle. They are spider monkeys. Yeah, okay. So yeah, these are the guys we saw in Shkaret when we stayed at Occidental. They are way more aggressive than no. the other monkeys, so we're not allowed inside with them. They could have found them very dangerous, actually. Oh, wow. That one's in Rola. <laughs> the Shkaret ones are nice. They could even try to choke you with a tail, and you wouldn't be able to take it off. It's really strong, actually. Wow. So it's dangerous to play with them. That's why we're not going to go inside with them. We have a rainbow billed toucan over here. His name is Sam. Sam the toucan. <laughs> We're not allowed inside with him. There's a little problem with him. He likes to peck a lot, and because of the shape of the beak, it could be really bad if it pecks if it pecks you. Right now, we're eating some, I think, papaya. Um, oh. It likes to eat fruits, insects, and eggs from reptiles. Actually, right now, it's poison for you. They have a powerful beak. If they bite you, they can make you bleed easily, unlike the toucan. But now it's smaller, but it's really strong. Gosh, that's a bird too. <laughs> There's nothing in this area, so don't worry, the birds are in the okay. See one that is really high, don't stand underneath them because they poop. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't they want the poop. Good luck, but I don't know if you want some bad luck. Hey, friend. Oh, Pretty. Ahead. Oh, yeah. Me too. Excuse me, there's something on my head. <laughs> oh, oh you, I thought you were getting thrown too. Maybe. That does look a good platform for him. He's like, nah. You should have worn a hat. Hi. Oh, left your bird. I am the king of the birds. Oh, he's going to eat my glasses. Yeah. That like, time I went in the lorikeet enclosure and they ate my ear. That was exciting. He's just, he's, just, he's just sitting up there eating, dropping seeds in my pocket. Oh, I'm gonna have so many, so many sunflower seeds in my pocket. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. They're all in All right, it is sloth time. McNuggets. Oh gosh, I'm hearing some chicken McNuggets up here. Oh, you're a moderately sized nugget. <laughs> this is someone of this area. His name is Danny. You're gonna meet him in a moment and he's gonna give the sloth to you if you wanna hold them. Sloth Central. Oh, they're just oh, hanging out. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We so, kinda touch the mama or the baby. Right here. Tiny baby Frank, sloth. sloth. And we have another one that is pregnant right now, so we're waiting for another oh, baby. Very nice. So cute. This is what they do all day long, basically. Yeah. They to sleep 16 to 20 hours a day. So do I. All the time. <laughs> They're only awake in the morning. Oh, they have oh, yeah. There's a total of eight in here in the park. 18? Eight. 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 Oh, eight. eight. Oh, eight. I was like, wow. It was eating. Oh. They're eating together. <laughs> this one's name is a star. A star. star. Look at them toenails. Okay, just open your arms. Gonna hold you, it's gonna hold you back. I can tell by the shirt okay, he's been waiting for this moment. <laughs> Hug? Yeah. Just put one hand down and the other hand up, okay? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So she is Priscilla. Aww. <laughs> yeah, there's their gigantic habitat back there where they live. We mostly have females over here, but if you have too many males, they actually fight between each other. Oh, wow. It's lowest fight ever. They're actually very flexible. They can turn their neck 180 oh, degrees. Oh, there's your friend. <laughs> you are very close to my face. <laughs> yeah, they do the best way. 
my friends. You can actually help well, them. Can't take flash. It no, you're not allowed to put it in your trees. suitcase. That's how they survive by hiding on trees. They kind of fight. They're gonna be dead if they try to fight with other animals. What are we doing? Are you gonna lay your head down? Yeah, sleeping. They sleep a lot, you know. Okay. They are very good swimmers. Oh, okay. They, uh, swimming, eating, and mating. That's it. Nothing else. That's what they do fast. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's all they do fast. Swimming, eating, and mating. <laughs> okay. Here's Jay and his sloth friend. <laughs> it's trying to climb you like a tree. Look, it's moving its feet. I'm a I tell you, I'm a tree. Oh. I should just live here and be a tree. <laughs> what are we looking at? <laughs> oh, hey, oh, oh I, got, I just got a little sloth kiss <laughs> under the chin. They only are good moving with their climbers. Very slow motion sloth kiss. It's very sweet. Very good climbers. Do you want a picture? How do I do a picture? Oh, you can stop recording. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's too funny. Yeah, we gotta stay in video mode if you're gonna put me in the eye. <laughs> you're like, oh no, hug. Okay. Hey. Remember that Freddy Krueger movie? I saw that. <laughs> He's gonna come over here and investigate this baby sloth again. Let's see if I can see him from this angle. Oh, yeah. How was your sloth experience? I know. Oh, she's taking more pictures of the baby. Yeah, zip line action happening. We got a couple more animals to see here. To go inside to attack you. Oh, wow. That's not nice. <laughs> they can even cut the finger off you if they bite you, so it's a Ooh. strong beak. What? Once um, they find a couple of things, they will go in there forever because they made for life. Oh, oh baby iguanas. Cool. He's not friendly, that's why he's. Uh oh, we're moving on to a monkey now. So Scooby does not enjoy the company of other monkeys. He's hmm. not the worst monkey to play because he's only mean to other monkeys. You go inside that they will attack you. <laughs> and I like the introduction to every cage is if you go in there you. and they're just gonna attack you and they'll bite you and you'll bleed. <laughs> so we only go in the safe ones. That's why you gotta have a guide. <laughs> oh, we found the sereque. They do call it aguti here because sereque is the word in Mexico. Dee knows how to call them though. She really does. They are very clean. They only eat fruits, and vegetables and they don't play in the trash so they don't eat trash or anything like that. Better than a rat. That's pretty friendly too. Alright, there is the end of the monkey and sloth portion. That was awesome. <laughs> Oh, they got one of those foot pedaled hand sanitizers too. Back to the gift shop. What are you finding? Oh no, little carved sloth. Yes, we need that. Of sure. course, look yep, at that thing. Yep. Or there's an ornament. Oh, for like so either well, Christmas tree or recording shelf. Hmm. I kinda like the recording Me shelf too. idea. <laughs> Alright, let's do that. Oh, that is so glary. All right, you got some Aww. good pictures of sloths. So we picked up a little souvenir sloth. What are you gonna name it? Can't be like Sid. No, don't do Sid the sloth. Let's see. Um, Ro. Yeah, Ro. <laughs> Roatan. It could be Ro the sloth. Ro. <laughs> oh, there's zip lining. Oh. That's really hit one of us for this. Holy zip line. <laughs> That's cool, they have like 12 different lines they've been upgrade. Yeah, you can upgrade to ATVs or zip lines or something while you're here. I didn't look into the pricing on that, but. It's a beautiful property. Though. Yeah. Made it to Bananarama Beach and Dive Resort. He's gone inside, I guess, to secure uh, some chairs and whatnot for us. Cue all those 80s music Bananarama references now. A turtle mascot. All right, we're in the right place. Oh, yeah, we're all the way on West Bay, the west tip of the island. I do have food available for purchase here. A bar. Oh, Scuba Steve and Big Jim. Well, I guess they have specials. What? Free popcorn? Don't tempt me with all that ice cream. Oh, here's what we're here for. Ooh, he warned us that it was a little choppy out here and probably not appropriate for the snorkeling and the uh, swimming. We do have a rope here. They've told us that if we venture out past this rope, you are likely that you will be solicited, obviously, by the vendors, but behind the rope, it's considered public property or private property behind the rope and they've got security that will chase the vendors off <laughs> but anyway looks like a gorgeous beach though they do offer snorkeling tours because we just had a guy come by but like i said it's looking rough today now none of the vendors have been exceptionally pushy i don't i don't want to scare you off by saying vendors vendors you know people are obviously making their living and that's fantastic so. no we just chatted with them and yeah. 
that aren't in the city, they let them know who are and Yeah, they're all very nice, and you can either tell them yes and check them out. They've had bracelets, there have been multiple hair offers braiding. of massages and hair braiding, <laughs> snorkel tours. tours. Although today it's really, really wavy with a bad turn. I don't I would yeah. even do that, and I'm a good swimmer. Well, probably just gonna have a beach chair day and see how that goes. So we're just gonna enjoy some views and sit here in the shade. Yo, know, somebody just came by selling banana bread and you know how tempted I was for some banana bread? Oh, there's a security guard down there. <laughs> oh, cotton candy. Somebody was selling empanadas, banana bread. This is, this is like a smorgasbord. <laughs> I mean, look. That's amazing. They have got the market on everything. So if you need something, you will find it here. They got so it. You got to appreciate the hustle, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, and it's not overwhelming. It's just, you know, do you want it? No? Okay. But it's funny to see all the stuff. Just so, so much stuff. It's kind of cool. Such a variety, yeah. I didn't know like, they had so much cool stuff. <laughs> Let's see what else we can find. Gosh, apparently they're selling gym memberships out here on the beach. I have no idea what's going on. This is the best day Wow. We got some parasailing action happening. A dive boat has just come back in from an excursion. That guy has Dee's backpack. Wait a minute, Dee stole your backpack. Your backpack is still down here. Okay, good. Phew. That's funny. That was a close one. So our tour guide, Kelvin, came around and said, I think we're going to have about two hours here or two more hours at the beach. Normally it's an hour to an hour and a half, but I think he's given us a little more beach time today, which is always good. Yeah. So we're going to sit here and relax for a couple of hours. The temperature is perfect. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. And if that banana bread comes back by, I might. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and banana man came back by. Yes, sir. Oh, sure. Gracias. Y'all, I could not resist the call of the empanada man. He was walking around with that cooler. These are big. Three for ten dollars. Okay, I can deal with that. So now we got a little bit of snack. A little snack. These things are honking huge too, and he gave us some cheese on there. I mean, you know, there's lots of like hats and shirts and stuff wandering around and bracelets, but you know when the food man came by. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm on an adventure to find some beverages or something entertaining. Ooh, I checked out all those ice cream flavors. They got the paletas here, which is awesome, but I think I'm gonna head over to the bar and see what they've got. Oh, I found a menu of pizzas. What else we got in here? Drinks, okay. Mmm, something? Wow, more stuff, okay. That's a lot of stuff. All right, I might be most interested. I'm gonna get some bottles of water and look at their drinks. D missed being able to talk to a kitty at the bar. Oh no, she's down there in the beach chair. Look at all this bling bling decoration. <laughs> There's our bottles of water and I ordered a couple of monkey lalas, which according to the menu is like the cocktail of Roatan, so why not? All right, I've come back down to the beach. This is our monkey lala. I don't remember what was in it, but it's supposed to be the official drink of Roatan according to the menu. It had like coffee, uh, Banana, like pineapple? yeah, that kind of thing. There, there's coffee in it. I can taste it. It's good. Right, we're gonna sit here and chill a while like still. Official. <laughs> I had to look at the menu picture I took. So essentially, it was vodka, Bailey's, Kahlua, and coconut cream. There you go. Good. Monkey la la. Rotan version of bushwhacker. Kinda. I would say. Yeah, when you, it's like nutmeg. When you go to St. It's Thomas, you gotta get the bushwhacker. Come here, I guess, get the monkey la la. Yeah. And the cotton candy, of course. Update, D said the empanada man came back by while I was up getting drinks and he asked us how were the empanadas. What did you tell him? They were really good. They actually were. The sauce was good. It was like spicy and sweet. But no, they were, they were really tasty. They were. He they loved the cheese. Yes. He offered to put some like hot hot on there and I told him no please. <laughs> but they were tasty. Yeah, yeah. Hello? Wow. What a nice shelter you've made. Thank you. If I had a book, it would be really cozy. You should give little, us a tour of your shelter. It's blue and warm, and I'm trying to protect myself from the sun. Bye. Bye. Have fun. Didn't even notice you could play giant Connect Four up here. Well, we brought Dee up here to actually meet the cat. I think it's the same cat as before. You look very similar, if not kitten. Heading to the ladies club. Well, it says to turn right here for the ladies club, or both clubs, I guess. And they have showers and changing rooms. Nice. You can even learn about tuna here. That, in fact, is a tuna. Tunas like to eat electrical cords. Little known fact. 
It does look like it is. Scientifically accurate. Do not listen to anything Jay says most. That's when they turn into an electric moray eel. Oh. See? I see. Science, right? Mmm, pizza. All right, we're heading back toward the van. Leaving Bananarama. Time to ride. Stopped here at the Roatan sign for a photo op. We did it, we got that photo op. Yay. All right, Editing Jay, Pretty throw it nice. in right now so we can look at it right now in its gloriousness. <laughs> Amazing. No, wrong. All right, that was it. No, we don't, that's, that's Spider-Man. Spider -Man. All right, so we're gonna hop back in the van now. Yeah. Back to the port, and we just have to follow the signs back to the ship. I mean, you know, it's right there, so. <laughs> you can't miss it. Well, we got a ton of shopping and restaurants and all that stuff around here. I guess we'll take a little peek as we wander back. All sorts of little vendors. I see a pharmacy back there. I think a Piranha Joe. Super easy to navigate though. It's literally like one lane. Yeah. You just stroll down it and see all the stuff. They're gonna be adding more stuff. Yeah, there's water. something going on up there with escalators. Coconut water. Oh, cute sign. Gosh, I don't know if you can even see that with all the glare, but there's like nine gabajillion. Sergeant. They look like Sergeant Majors down there. There was a big one a minute ago. Yikes. Oh, and a snorkel. <laughs> Air snorkeling, I know. Okay. We're gonna try to get you in some water this trip. Today was just not meant to be that day. <laughs> That's okay. All right, let's head back on board. Good Hola again. Mm -hmm. We are back on the ship, obviously, all cleaned up, getting ready to go to dinner. But first, we have to talk about our day. How was your day? Amazing. <laughs> Anytime I get to like play with animals, hold a sloth. Yes. Monkeys jump on you. It's a good day. And even the beach was beautiful. We couldn't really get in the water. It was way too yeah, rough. It was just a bad day for it, but the beach was gorgeous. <laughs> it was really pretty and they had a really nice bar and mm. restaurant area that you could sit up in and some good music, good food, lots of fun stuff that the vendors sold. Yeah. <laughs> We were told that the uh, chicken tenders were like some of the best ever by some of the people that were traveling yeah. with us, but we didn't get to try those. No. Yeah, lots of vendors. There was no shortage of stuff that could no. be had. So I definitely had to be like, empanada man, come here. And I almost was tempted by the banana bread man and the cotton candy man. But anyway, no you know me. Food. You know me. But all we had for lunch was empanadas. That's it. So we're hungry. Yeah, that's true. So <laughs> thank you so much. Victor Bodden yes. Tours, fantastic day. Ours was called the Fun and Sun Tour, mm -hmm. if you're looking it up. I'll try to throw a link down in the website. Yeah. And like I said, I think it was like $30 for the day Super per person. Super so great deal. That was awesome. Yeah. Uh, but we're getting ready to go to dinner, and I think we're going to try something a little different. Yes. So... Port side. side Barbecue? I have to I make sure we don't need a reservation. That's true. I thought it was called Pork Sides Barbecue because you go there for pork and sides. Is that not? That would be incorrect. That, it's that's, Port okay. Side, port. like, because it's on the port side. Actually, Makes I don't sense. know if it's on the port side. I think it might be. That would be bad um, advertising. Local Fresh is on the starboard side, so that makes sense. I think, at least. But <laughs> well, we're going to see if we need a reservation and then hopefully go there for dinner. It's an upcharge and you just pay a la carte. So we're going to um go pay a la carte. You do not need a reservation. Nice. You just go, hey, I want some meat. Thank you. Well, let's go. Hey, I want some meat. So, <laughs> bye. <Let's do> that. <laughs> bye. Henry, we want some meat. So we've come aft and we're going to jump to 15 pork sides barbecue. Man, that big band music's got you in the, in the mood. <laughs> Let's see if the interior entrance is open. Aha. Yep, probably. Okay, well, we'll sneak around the outside and get in that way. This looks like a, there's our menu. You get all your cuts. I think I'm probably going for like at least a two cut plate or something like that. With two sides and a dessert. Here's all the stuff. Oh. Oh, there's a nice little menu to look at too. Okay, that's a lot better. We placed our orders, come over here to get, oh yeah, they got the water machine. We did decide to try their spiked Palmer because, you know, we got we drinks to burn. <laughs> Is this Henry's big older cousin brother in here? Oh, Henry Sr., how are you? 
D is going to apply for a job here because she was rolling the silverware while I was up there uh, getting waters I, I don't and stuff. Think I should. That is not pretty. <laughs> but you know what? I was just trying to be cute. <laughs> Well, this massive tray just hit the table, and good gracious, I mean, you know. So you went with the half barbecue chicken and the brisket as your two meats. Coleslaw and corn, because it's healthy. That's true, and corn, and you got the... banana dream, which is banana pudding, I think. Nice. My tray has just plopped down. I decided to go with the pulled pork, just to see how it goes. The burnt ends, which, you know, if you know barbecue, yes. The brisket, mac and cheese, a little um, baked bean action over here, and I got the brookie, which is like a, you know, brownie cookie. Brookie. So yeah, we're gonna um, chow down on a heck of a lot of food. Yeah. And it's gonna be fantastic. I'm hungry, this is great. <laughs> Side note, our spiked palmers showed up. So I guess that's half iced tea, half lemonade, you know, a la Arnold Palmer. And then they throw in some bourbon, just cause. <laughs> And now we're going to show you us eating and chewing every single bite of it and telling you how it is in vivid detail. No, we're not. We'll talk about it when I just we're done. Tried the it's good. I haven't even tried anything yet. I'm right? really hungry. I got to catch up. So <laughs> probably have an empanada. See you after we're done, or you know, in the middle if anything amazing happens. It's all good. We'll get some music with our meal. I want to keep a little time with you. A little salt and terrible that was the worst whatever gosh that was amazing okay that was life-changing barbecue right there so when people ask what's the one thing you should do on oasis go to portside barbecue. it's portside barbecue it's unique to the ship it's phenomenal yeah it Maybe is. we just had a good night but everybody was no it was <laughs> it was pretty great it is an upcharge but it's yeah good. there we go that was our elevator it didn't even ding all right, just when we couldn't fit anything else in our bodies, we're like, we need to come get a special coffee. Bam! Let's take a peek at the snacks while we're here. Veggie samosa, mini fish cake, pork arancini, chicken veg skewer, cold cuts and desserts. We got our coffees all loaded up. Fancy, we've got it now to where we know exactly what we like. We get something, we get an extra espresso shot in there. It's perfect. So I think we're gonna go listen to some music after this, and then, fun time. <laughs> Not that kind of dance, just any sort of dance, really. Like that. Yes. yes. Back out into the world. We've come up to the pool deck just to chill out in the nighttime and check all this out. You gotta see everything all lit up pretty. Oh gosh, even looking down to the park. We got some music coming from, I think, down in the park. Oh, I see him down there playing the guitar. Man, you can get in the hot tub and watch sports. I didn't know that was a thing. Is it warm? Change our plans. Oh. And, come and, get in the hot and watch the sports, especially. Ooh, now that it's dark, we can peek up there into what I believe is Coastal Kitchen, right? Which is the it special is. dining area. Sweet. Yes. Sweet. Well. Oh, let's get some more barbecue while we're here. Okay, no. Must resist. Must resist. Our nighttime exploration continues with a peek down onto the boardwalk here on the back of the ship. You see the landing zone for the slide all lit up down there. Flow riders are dry right now. The no rider. Good gracious, the no, no rider. rider. Oh, that's cool. Look at that big fishy thing. Well, we found the back of the ship. Oh, we're not really going to see. Well, we can see the wake with our eyeballs. Oh, there it is. Can you see it? Yep, camera's like, look at that. We changed our plans a little bit. We were going to go listen to the Beatlemaniacs over in the music hall. But we've actually got a reserved showtime to see the Beatlemaniacs up in the big lounge. So maybe we'll just wait and do that. We're walking off some barbecue right now. We never really did get to peek at the children's area because it was always in full effect with cheerings and everything in it, but it's currently off. Oh, splash buckets. Here's the little baby one next door. Cute. Sneaking over here to the other side of the kids one. They got their own little water slide. Time to head back down. 
two different channels, so whichever one you want to listen to. Thank you. Oh, they got the DJ down there doing the two channels. Hey, there's a pole. All right, we're going to do some bopping up here in the stands to start off with. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, dancing in a mask is a little weird. Yeah. So I might um, chair dance. Oh, no, I'll probably get out there eventually. Okay. <laughs> well, she's made her way out to the floor. Bye, have fun. Crikey. <laughs> There's where they keep the D's in the Studio B. They should rename it Studio D. All right, ma'am, you've earned a drink break. Cheers. Play that funky music just hit. <laughs> there it is. Nice. Wow, that's impressive. Oh, the dance floor has thinned out. We got these big choruses coming out. Well, we've come from silent music to actual music. Decided we'll chill in jazz on tour for a minute. Oh, look at that cool camera effect. Got our cruise compass on the bed. Oh, D is kicking trash cans. Guys, did you hear D kick that trash can? Okay. Oh gosh, y'all don't talk about her like that. <laughs> They're supposed to be on my side. Nope. I'm the animal whisperer. Actually, today you were. Dang right, I'm the animal whisperer. Them monkeys love me. Them sloughususes love me, and them the birds. birds love me. Yeah, it's it was good to see like all the animals with you today. But we are going to bed. So how has your evening been? We already talked about poor side barbecue. Amazing. Can we talk about it again? <sighs> okay, no, let's, go. let's don't. It was good. It was good. Everyone who was in there was like, wow. That Get that chicken. That it was chicken. surprisingly good. Mm, yeah, they didn't the even taste it. Chicken was delicious. I told you. No, you, you wouldn't let me have any. Um, what else did we do? We walked around at night. And That's true. It's pretty. Looked at everything. It was gorgeous. And there wasn't many sun. people around, so it was really pretty. And then we went to yes, the silent, silent disco, disco and we danced to a few songs. I usually dance to everything, but with a mask, mask it's not quite as fun and I totally get protocols. So yeah. they're changing shortly though for Royal Caribbean like in... By the time you see this video, yeah. it will have already changed, but I think it's February 14th, they're going maskless again on the Royal Caribbean. cruise after we get off. <laughs> yeah, and then March 1st, they're going maskless on Norwegian, Norwegian and other stuff. Stuff is happening in the world. It's exciting to see actually, <laughs> and hopefully, you know, it stays that way. This we'll is see. true. And then we hung out with uh, Clay and Shelly oh, again, and we got true. to meet Florence, mm -hmm. and it's been a really, really awesome day, and then we listened to jazz, and we no, used our we final did. drink. We did. We did it. We made all four today. We had one <laughs> each at Portside, two each at the Silent Disco, mm -hmm. and one in the Jazz Club. One's at Silent Disco. I don't actually think there was anything, Thank which is fine, you know, because they're okay. included. It's the principle of the thing. That's right. We, we had used to. Them. That's right. So we're going to bed now, yes. and uh, we got Customizer tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll see y'all. Bye. Fun times. Maybe you'll snorkel. I hope. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Good, Good night. night.